Hey, Daquan, um, I know you knew the numbers for third down defense coming in. Uh, how frustrating that you guys could not improve on that at all today. Uh, very. But uh, it starts from practice. You know, we have to do a better job of communicating, making sure everyone on the same page, and uh, going out there and get the job done. So uh, this week, we got to make sure we go in practice and focus on communicating and, uh, and focus on those details. Luke? Daquan, you know, the problems on, on third down, like you mentioned, weren't exclusive to this game. They've, they've been a problem all year. Does it become frustrating at a certain point that I'm sure you guys are trying to get it turned around and working in practice, but it just isn't seeming to click? I mean, yeah, but uh, at the same time, you got to keep on plowing away and trying to fix what you can fix and control what you can control. And uh, like I said, it's got some practice. Man. We got we to practice better and, and do our job better and, and uh, get it turned around. It feels like we've seen sort of two versions of this team this year. The one that, you know, had some close good wins in the, at the beginning and, and blew out the Bills, and then the version that we've seen today and last week. W which version of this team is closer to who you guys are and actually can be in the end? Uh, like, you, like you've seen early on, you know I mean? That's the team that we want to be and the team we can be. Uh, we get to come out here and play more consistent and uh, do our job, and uh, which we will, and uh, we'll get back to that point. Corey Curtis. Daquan, you guys had the COVID outbreak and then the two big wins and then the, the huge matchup with Pittsburgh. Any chance there was a the hangover for you guys coming into this one at all? No. I mean, for me personally, no. Uh, I can't speak for everybody else, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. And, and facing an offensive line that they had to, to patchwork together this week, um, you had to have greater expectations for the pass rush in this one. I, th I think you guys had zero and you're still on seven for the season. Zach, what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it just comes down to people doing their jobs and, uh, you know, taking uh, advantage of the opportunities and going out there and winning the one matchup. So, uh, like I said, we've got to get better and keep, keep practicing better. You're one of the leaders on this team. You're a captain. How do you handle this one with your squad? Uh, you know, keeping everyone together and uh, don't allow people to sit there and, and, and get a small group and start talking and, uh, trying to, you know, break apart the team even more. We just have to, you know, come together as a team, uh, as a defense, as an offense, come together as a whole, and uh, just keep communicating, keep echoing to, you know, we'll be all right, get better, come to practice, take care of, uh, our, you know, what we have to do and we'll be all right. Last question, Paul. Hey, Daquan, uh, you've got some guys who are new to the team this year. Uh, maybe new, you know, unfamiliar with the culture. They, they haven't necessarily played up to expectation and, and have, haven't gotten better. How do, you, how do you get those guys up to standard? Do you have conversations with them? Is there understanding? How's that all work? I mean, yeah, you just got to keep, keep being in their ear, keep talking to them, keep, keep telling them what we, what we do and what we live by. Um, uh, and and that's, all, that's all we can do with players and, and, and the coaches take from there. So just keep on preaching what, what we do and what we believe in. And uh, if they get on board, they get on board. If not, then we'll move on.